In the heart of America's automotive history lie some marvelous pieces of machinery that not only carried loads, but also the dreams of the nation's amazing craftsmen into a new era. Today, we're stirring up the excitement of our dear car enthusiasts once again and inviting you to delve with us into the iconic journey of the seven most iconic vintage American pickup trucks. But do collectors still crave such antiques even in this new era? What attracts them so much? Join us as we embark on this nostalgic journey where every pickup has its own tale to tell. On number seven, we have the 1947 Hudson Big Boy. Here comes an iconic piece of machinery, the Hudson Super 6 pickup, popularly known as the Hudson Big Boy. Hudson derived its name from its first financial backer, J.L. Hudson of Hudson's department store fame. This beast carved a place in hearts when it was released in 1941. And like most pickups of the era, it was based on an automobile. However, its production was discontinued owing to the critical conditions of World War II. Soon after, Hudson abandoned truck manufacturing in 1947. The 1947 Hudson Big Boy is a rare classic, with only 2,917 units produced that year. To your surprise, probably only a few hundred of these soldiered on through 2024. Eager to know what lies under the hood? Well, this vintage power plant has the same 3.5 liter straight six with the unit rated at 102 horsepower back in the day. The oomph reached the rear wheels through a three-speed manual gearbox. As a heavy-duty truck, the big boy boasted a spacious cargo bed, ideal for hauling goods, equipment, or even passengers. And to be specific about its interior, this interior is executed with high quality fit and finish. The seats and door panels are covered in custom stitched tan upholstery, accented with lovely oatmeal square weave carpet bound in tan. Furthermore, one always has the option of modifying according to their respective needs. Like many vehicles of its time, the Hudson Big Boy left an indelible mark on American culture. On number six, we have the 1929 Ford Model A Roadster Truck. The Ford Model A was the Ford Motor Company's second market success, replacing the Model T, which had been in production for 18 years. It was first produced in 1927, but not introduced until later on. This new Model A was designated as a 1928 model and was available in four standard colors. Let me surprise you with its heavy demand. By February 4, 1929, 1 million Model A's had been sold, and by July 24, 2 million had been sold. The Model A was available in various body styles, including sedan, coupe, pickup truck, and roadster. The roadster truck variant offered a sporty open-air driving experience combined with the utility of a pickup bed. Prices for the Model A ranged from US $385 for a roadster to US $1400 for the town car. What powered it? Its engine was a water-cooled L-head inline four with a displacement of 3.3 liters, providing 40 horsepower. This American vintage could reach a top speed of around 65 miles per hour. With a 103.5 inch wheelbase and a final drive ratio of 377 to one, the Model A had four wheel mechanical drum brakes. Did you know, the Model A Roadster truck featured classic design elements typical of the era, including a prominent radiator grille, elegant fenders, and spoked wheels. Hence, its timeless design continues to captivate automotive enthusiasts today. For the next iconic vintage pickup, on number five, we have the 1946 Chevy truck. Here adds another marvel to the iconic vintage pickup list, the 1946 Chevy truck. Soon after World War II ended, Chevrolet resumed production of its updated models. And of course, this vintage was one of them. Being a vintage of that era, it is known for the advanced design it boasts, with a streamlined appearance and improved aerodynamics compared to pre-war models. Also, when it comes to interior design, it was equipped with features designed to enhance driver comfort and convenience. Options such as heater defroster units, improved seating, and upgraded interiors were available. But wait, there's more to add. Chevrolet offered the 1946 truck in various configurations, including pickup trucks, panel vans, and flatbed trucks. This versatility allowed customers to choose according to their needs. A powerful engine with 67 kilowatt power, 91 horsepower, and an instant torque of 174 pound-foot make it more impactful. The 1946 Chevy truck was popular among farmers, small businesses, and tradespeople for its reliability and affordability. No doubt, 
Its practical design and construction made it well suited for daily use in agricultural and commercial settings. To your surprise, even decades after its production, this iconic machinery remains a favorite among vintage truck enthusiasts and collectors. Its classic design, durability, and historical significance contribute to its enduring popularity in the automotive community. We're halfway done. Enjoying these pickup trucks and excited to know which ones are coming up? Then go ahead and smash that like button right away. On number 4, we have the 1937 Studebaker Coupe Express. Feast your eyes on this master of automotive craftsmanship, the 1937 Studebaker Coupe Express. It was a unique vehicle made by the Studebaker Corporation from 1937 to 1938. Its sleek lines and elegant appearance set it apart from other trucks of its era. With a car-like cab and distinctive rear fenders borrowed from the Studebaker Dictator, you could get it with a pickup-style metal bed or just the cab and chassis. So basically, you could customize it with your own bed or storage boxes. Its engine contains a 218 cubic inch L-head inline six. It hasn't been just a show truck, so some minor wear is evident in a few spots, but overall, the presentation is top quality. The engine is mated to a three-speed manual transmission and feeds power through a 455 to one rear axle. The production for the 1937 model year was approximately 3,000 units, which makes it a rare and sought after collectible today. The 1937 Studebaker Coupe Express holds historical significance as one of the early examples of a hybrid passenger car truck design. Its innovative concept paved the way for future generations of pickup trucks. The restored models of such exceptions can be found at vintage car shows and auctions, where they continue to captivate audiences with their timeless charm. On number three, we have the 1941 Mac Ed One Ton. A robust and durable innovation from Mack trucks, presenting the icon of its era, the 1941 Mack ED One Ton. Here's a fact for you. During World War II, many Mack trucks, including the ED One Ton, were used for military purposes, clearly demonstrating its bold design engineered to withstand heavy duties and rough terrain. One of the most captivating features of this pickup truck is its styling, which showcases Mack's signature elements, including its iconic bulldog hood ornament captivating the hearts of many vintage enthusiasts. Mack trucks were renowned for the reliability and longevity, and this one was no exception. Like many vehicles produced during wartime, production of the 1941 Mack ED one ton was limited due to resource constraints and prioritization of military contracts. As a result, surviving examples are relatively rare today. Only about 50 units are known to exist today, with an estimated value of around $50,000. Its historical significance, coupled with its enduring charm, ensures its legacy in the world of vintage trucks. On number two, we have the 1955 International R120. In 1955, International replaced the R-Series light and medium-duty trucks with the S-Series, ranging from the S110 to the S184 truck. So, let us introduce you to the R124 x 4 which was introduced late in 1955. It was the first mass-produced three-quarter ton four-wheel drive pickup that grabbed the attention of farmers, hunters, fishermen, utility companies, and others. It was based on the two-wheel drive R120, but had a higher GVWR rating of 7,000 pounds. Let's delve into the details of what else this masterpiece offers. It offered a choice of the 108 horsepower SD220 or the 131 horsepower SD240 engines driving through either three or four speed transmissions and two speed transfer case. The standard tires were 650 by 16, the same as for the 4x2 R120 series, while 750 by 16 tires were available to carry the rated load, and 9 by 16 for maximum flotation. For the highest ground clearance, 7 by 18 tires were available. Furthermore, in 1956, the R124 x4 was restyled at the front end and became the S124 x4. To be specific about its appearance, the R120 featured a bold appearance, with its distinctive grille and rounded fenders giving it a classic truck aesthetic that still appeals to enthusiasts today. It was available in various configurations, namely pickup trucks, panel vans, and flatbed trucks, offering versatile services to a wide range of commercial and personal needs. It's hard to believe that even in this new era, its classic design, historical significance, and durable construction make it a prized addition to any collection. Let's break the suspense. And here on number one, we have the 1963 Dodge D100. 
Dodge brought out all the new D-Series pickups and cabs for 1961. Further, in 1963, the Dodge D100 underwent a redesign, featuring a more modern and sleek appearance compared to its predecessors. This vintage truck boasted clean lines and a bold grille, reminiscent of the design trends of the early 1960s. Wondering what roared inside it? Well, the D100 offered a variety of engine choices to suit different needs and preferences. Options included inline-six and V8 engines, providing varying levels of power and performance. And one always has the option of customization according to their needs. Likewise, from different cab configurations to bed lengths and interior features, customers had plenty of choices to create their ideal truck. Its production continued for several years, undergoing various updates and improvements over its lifespan, thus speaking loudly of its enduring popularity and reputation for quality. The 1963 Dodge D100, like many trucks of its era, played a role in shaping American culture. Hence, it leaves a distinct footprint in the sands of time. That's all the picks we had for today. What are your thoughts about these trucks? Did we just dismiss these iconic gems too soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video from us. We'll see you guys very soon with our next video.